Hey everyone, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2024 Cadillac XT5, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt Custom Fit Trailer Wiring Harness. Before we do that though, let's take a minute, check it out and make sure it's gonna work for you. So, uh, you know, if you plan on pulling a trailer around with your Cadillac, you're gonna need a way to power up the lights on that trailer, not only for safety reasons, but legal reasons as well. You know, it's a requirement in all the states. So that's where uh, a kit like this is gonna come into play. It's going to be the four-way flat type trailer connector, which is really common for those smaller, medium-sized trailers, um, like the ones that you'd expect to pull with the XT5, and it'll provide us with those lighting functions. So you'll get your turn signals, your brake lights, as well as your tail lights. One of my favorite parts about this wiring, uh, just like the hitch, is that when not in use, it's going to sit behind your removable panel and you won't even be able to tell it's there. It'll look completely factory. Uh, and then of course you pull the panel off and you got all the room you'd ever need to get access to that connector. Aside from that, an extremely simple way to get trailer wiring. Uh, one of the easiest trailer wirings that I've installed personally, and that's because it just utilizes a factory connector plug right here behind the bumper. So this literally just plugs in and just about anyone should be able to do this. So, um, you know, if you plan on hooking it up yourself, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and get started on it now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be working underneath the back of our Cadillac. And right here in this area, behind our bumper, there's gonna be a factory connector plug for our trailer wiring that we need to locate. And of course, you know, if you still have your removable panel on back here that covers up your hitch, definitely wanna remove that, give you a lot more room to work. Here is the connector plug that we're looking for. So it's that square plug there. And there's what's called a dummy plug um, pushed into the connector. And it's essentially just protects the connector from getting corroded. So we'll have to remove that. And the way you can do that, there's a red tab, all right? You're gonna to wanna to pull that red tab back, and then you can push down on the middle of the plug to get it removed. Here is the dummy plug that I removed, and we're not gonna be reinstalling it. And as you can tell, your new trailer wiring harness is gonna match up, right? So we'll set the dummy plug to the side, we can take our new harness and plug it right in. You go to plug this in, it'll only line up one way, so can't really get it wrong. You'll click it into place, push that red tab back into the lock position. So what I've done now is just took our wiring and ran it over towards our hitch, used a couple of zip ties to secure it, and what we can do now is test it to make sure it's working properly. So I like to use a small tester like this one here, um, as opposed to just hooking up to our trailer, uh, because if your trailer has any issues, it might mislead you into thinking it's something uh, wrong with the vehicle side, but go ahead and run through our functions now. We'll try out our left turn signal, our right turn signal. We'll turn on our taillights, and then hit our brakes. Now that we verified the wiring works, I secured it to the hitch using the dust cover, and that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt trailer wiring harness on our 2024 Cadillac XT5.